Now let's head over to Paris where there's that Viva Tech conference going on. And we do have some Nigerians participating. One of them is the Chief Executive Officer of Casava Insurance, uh, Mr. Bode Pedro, joins us from Paris now to share his experience and why he has uh, taken our time to go to that. Uh, Mr. Pedro, good afternoon. Great. So how's it been? Um, the conference ends tomorrow. I think it's been on for like two, three days now. Uh, what has been your experience? Uh, what are the conversations going on right there at the tech uh, conference? It's been immense. 150,000 people from all over the world have been invited and, you know, really adding value in the conference. Um, for me specifically, it's all about artificial intelligence. But as a Nigerian representative, I'm and representing of cassava, what we notice is that AI and data, data in, in general is a huge part of this conference. And I was more particularly interested in how AI can really impact some industries in Nigeria, like agriculture, insurance, fraud, and you know, banking, and other industries. But specifically cassava, because we're growing at a rapid rate, we have millions of customers that have insurance, but most importantly, we're empowering agents, insurance agents, using artificial intelligence so that it can sell insurance at scale in Nigeria. You know, sometimes when we hear of this uh, Nigerians attending tech conferences, talking about artificial intelligence, sometimes it does feel like it doesn't fit in to the realities back home. Uh, when you're done, you come back here and then you search or try to get electricity supply to even run your household and then your company. You know, and so when you talk about artificial intelligence, it seems far-fetched that do we do this or have these conversations because the world is having it, or do we do it because we really mean it and we are implementing it? On the contrary, uh, you have to understand that these industries are not in a silo. The services that need to be provided for these industries to actually thrive um, require efficiency. So when we talk about agriculture, how do farmers learn? Um, how do other um, ecosystem players support agriculture? We talk about insurance. We don't have insurance penetration that we need to have. How do these insurance agents, how can we give them the tools so that they can sell insurance? And how do we sell the right kinds of products actively in the market itself? We talk about healthcare. Healthcare needs to be digitized. I'm very, very excited that I have been part of the Nigerian Digital Health Initiative that was visioned by the president of Nigeria to digitize healthcare so that eventually um, healthcare in Nigeria will be ubiquitous and available to everyone. But we're gonna need efficiency and you can only get efficiency through its automation and especially artificial intelligence. So best believe AI is going to be a part of these industries that will enable job creation, wealth creation, safety and security in our market. Now, Mr. Pedro, you are in the insurance sector, and um, here in Nigeria, I mean, I can't remember the number now, but insurance penetration is really low. Nigerians typically do not trust insurance companies to deliver when the need arises. Are you saying that with the adoption of AI, these sentiments will change? It's not just the adoption of AI. First of all, policy. We now have a new team at NICOM. Um, fantastic professionals from the Commissioner for Insurance as well as the Deputy Commissioner for Insurance. And their mandate is very clear. We need to scale out insurance and we need to create value in insurance. Now supported by tech investment, both locally and globally, as well as international trade, there's a massive opportunity to change insurance in Nigeria. And we've seen this in banking. People forget that 20 years ago, we didn't have pensions, now we have pensions. 25 years ago, most people didn't have bank accounts, now we do. I believe that this is the age of insurance. This is the right time because investments are actually being made in insurance. We have tech companies in insurance and we have the right team, regulatory team that are going to push policy for insurance penetration. I think that there's a huge opportunity and I think the encouragement is to push for investments in this industry. Okay, great. Well, so what are you bringing back home to Nigeria? First things first. I am bringing back news. The world is watching Nigeria. They're very, very excited and interested in Nigeria's progress. 
Nigeria, as we know, is giants of Africa. So other African countries are actually very interested. And what I would say, more than anything, is that for next year, we need to be represented more at Vivatech. Vivatech is the largest electronics conference, technology conference in the world. Nigeria needs to be felt. And so part of what I'm bringing back is encouragement for our ecosystem, from government to our tech companies to media, to be part of this conversation so that we can actually be part of this global trade and benefit our community. So I'm really looking forward to as we go forward. All right, uh, Mr. Pedro, when you come back, we'll, we'll catch you and see if you have all of those things and get our own share of it. But thank you so much for your time you much. this afternoon, Mr. Bode Pedro is the Pedro is the Chief Executive Officer of Casava Insurance and is right there in Paris. Thank you.